Hey there folks, welcome to my shop. So some of you might know, I've been working on my freehand grinding. And no, I haven't perfected it yet. For all you guys out there that are freehand grinding, mad respect, it is not easy. But, I thought I'd bring you guys in for a progress report. Share some of the things I've done. One thing, I moved my overhead light. It used to be over here, and it kind of cast a shadow. And it was making it hard to see that uh, the shadow right on the edge, right where the edge touches. So I moved that. That's helping out a lot, I believe. Other thing that I did is I got myself a file guide. Nice little file guide. This thing's from um, Bill Benke. Benke, I'm sorry, probably butchering that. Not sure how to pronounce it. But it's a great product, non sponsored, obviously. But that's got a learning curve of its own. So I fiddled with it for a while and I put that down. Other thing that I did, made myself a push stick. Push stick so I can uh, hold against that belt without burning my digits here. And it's, it's comfortable to use, it's nice. Um, I can control a lot of the pressure. I made mine with a little ledge so I can hold it just underneath there. And I fiddled with that for a while, and then I put it down. Now when I put this down, I realized I had a lot more control of the pressure with my fingers. So I've ground out about 30 blade-ish, 30 bevels. Well, two on each side, so let's say 40 bevels. I decided I didn't really need a, I didn't need to make a knife. You know, I've got the shaping of a blade down, I've got that figured out, I can drill holes, all that. So I didn't need to make a knife, I just needed to work on some bevels. So, slaughtered a whole bunch. Went to town. Bumping and grinding, as they say. And, finally, I believe, making a little bit of progress. Starting to feel it. Starting to be able to feel that contact. I practiced that for quite a while, just sitting there and touching it, looking at it, touching it, looking at it, not even grinding a bevel. Just making that contact and trying to learn how that feels, you know, and that makes perfect contact when it hits flat, when you're not grinding into the edge or digging into your bevel. The other thing that I'm working on is just moving into that plunge line. Um, trying to hit the plunge line first and pull out. I keep rocking and cutting and digging that plunge line up. So what's working for me is to contact in the center, come in, come back out. Now obviously as I learn, that might change or that might be the end all end all. But Things are happening, and I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully that's in frame, because I'm not sure. Figuring out how to get that dialed in so that's even. It's really important to me that that sweep is true. And, uh, you know, with the grinding jig on a table, there's still a lot of learning curve to get that lined up and perfect. Um, difference is I don't have to worry about this angle here. And uh, I don't have to worry too much about this angle here because that's set. And I don't have to worry about this angle here because that's set as well. I mean, I sometimes pick up off the table to get a sweep in there. But for the most part, it's just the, the two you have to worry about, you know. And uh, working on anchoring. Uh, I feel that's really important. A lot of guys preach it. And uh, lo and behold, it's true. <laughs> Things seem to work out better if you anchor in and move your body to the side instead of trying to fiddle with your hands. You know, um, a lot going on with the hands. So if you can set and anchor at your side, and I think, I don't know if I'm in shot here, but um, I go a little bit lower. Just above my belly button seems to work really well for me. Keeps my grinder low, chest height or so. And it's just right there where I can see that contact being made. So again, not an expert. I haven't perfected it yet, but I think I'm getting better. 
So I've been working on just trying to draw that straight across with this, you know, it's just a straight bevel, just trying to keep things even as I come across. Um, and I'm finally starting to like what I see. There is a little divot right there. But, I mean, that's not bad. I could probably sand that out. And I'd like to be able to get it out with the grinder. So that's why we're working on things. Well, folks, thanks for checking out my progress. You know, hopefully that'll help you guys see somebody else that's struggling. We struggle. You know, I can throw out a decent looking knife with my grinding jig. Um, I've been making knives for, you know, a few years now, but to me, I'm still an amateur. I'm still learning every day. I come out here in the shop and fiddle around with a lot of things. I got knives on the bench that I'm working on, but this is what I want to get dialed in now. Freehand grinding. Again, it's not easy. Thanks for watching.